A lot of people are very desperate for Winds of Winter. On every one of George R. R. Martin's tweets, on every single statement he makes, fans plead for more info, or just a vestige of hope that the next book in the A Song of Ice and Fire series will come. I've even made videos discussing this, and it's probably one of the biggest contentions for new readers, more so than anything that's even in the books themselves. There are a lot of people that are very unsatisfied with the prospect that they might never see the end of this series. And so was I, until God struck me with a divine epiphany. Maybe. It's okay if A Song of Ice and Fire never finishes. Now I know what you're thinking, but hear me out, okay? This is really something that I've kind of changed my tune on since my last videos. In my other videos, I kind of discussed this topic as if needing these books to finish was somehow given. But in academic exploration of my newly found vast wisdom, I reached a new conclusion. And I will say what this brilliant conclusion was just after you've subscribed. Of course, you don't have to, but your brain wouldn't be quite as big and, you know, I don't know, you may not understand the vastness of, of what I'm about to tell you. And of course, you'll have to watch all the way till the end to really understand the complexity of my arguments. In many ways, this is really a philosophical question. What is it that makes a story enjoyable, that makes it matter? This can vary significantly depending on both story and reader. There are stories that only really come together at the very end, where if you don't get an ending, you're robbed of the necessary resolution to enjoy the story. But I would say, in all my wisdom, that this really isn't the case for most fantasy epics, and definitely not A Song of Ice and Fire. Yes, we might miss out on some of the grand mysteries that have been built up, like what's really up with those other dudes? Like, what's their deal? How much of the different histories we hear about the last hero or the Astor High are really true? The prince that was promised? Are they even the same person? Who knows? Will they all die when winter comes? Who the hell knows? But as the Knights Radiant beautifully say, in the Stormlight Archive, journey before destination. And this is definitely also the case for A Song of Ice and Fire. We have this immense cast of characters who've all gone through multiple arcs at this point, and all of them have shown interesting sides to themselves. And we've gotten the resolution of plenty of story arcs throughout the series. And each of the five released books have left so many readers satisfied and enamored with the world that's been built. Each have left readers with a whole mess of feelings. And isn't that what reading is all about? To enjoy a story, to care about characters, and to feel something. And in that sense, even if we never get to read the last two books, they've very much done their job. And let's not kid ourselves here. Do we really think there's an ending coming in these two books that'll dramatically change the purpose, theme, and message of the series? Of course we don't know, but I really don't think so. I think the themes and the overall worldview and message of A Song of Ice and Fire, if you deem that there is one, has already been said. Do you like killing your characters? No, I don't. Then but why I, do you do I, it so I do, much, George? I, I do think it needs to be done. You know, Valar Mogulis, all men must die. I think it's part of life and, and art needs to reflect life. Particularly if you're, if you're writing a fantasy novel, an epic fantasy novel. Certainly since the days of Tolkien, uh, so many fantasy novels have uh, been about war. I mean, there's a war at the center of Lord of the Rings. Of course, in my, in my books, there's a considerably more complicated war going on. But you look at all of the other writers who've been in between, and there's, there's wars and wars and wars. Now, I'm not saying you have to write about war. There are many other interesting things to write about. Um, and I've written about some of them. I don't have a war in all my books. But if I'm going to write about war, if any writer is going to write about war, then I want him to treat war honestly. One thing I, I know about war from people who served in Vietnam and, and served in other wars is, uh, you know, it, it does bring out the beast in men and anybody can die. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're the hero. I think everybody who died in any war th thought they were the hero right to the moment that the bullet blew off the top of their skull. And I really think this is what made A Song of Ice and Fire so successful, so groundbreaking. And I think it's also its main message. 
Valar Morghulis, All Men Must Die. Now, would it be awesome to get the last two books? Absolutely. There's still so much left to be answered, and so many characters whose stories I'm excited to see continue, and so many plot lines still ongoing. Do the titles alone, The Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring, sound absolutely insane? Hell yes! Oh god damn it, yeah, just give me some of that. Ooh yeah, hell yeah. Ooh, that's so good. But here is the million dollar question. Did you enjoy reading those books? Did they make you feel something? Yes, we might never see the end of the story, but the art is already there. And I think there's a beauty to the story that never ends. Maybe unanswered questions to some make for a more engaging story. We might never see the truth behind the great mysteries we're given, but they'll stay with us nonetheless. And maybe that's enough. If you enjoyed this video and want to come talk to me, well, why don't you check out my Discord in the description? It's barren at the moment, but I want to get closer to the people who watch my videos. These discussions, fun as they are, can sometimes seem a bit one-sided. And if you want to watch more, why don't you check out this video about the prospects for the future of A Song of Ice and Fire. And with that, ciao ciao!